yo, yo. Welcome to another edition of the Altcoin Bosses. My name is Tino. Welcome to Traders Reality. Just to get you guys aware, today's video is going to be short and sweet. We're going to summarize what altcoins right now are actively showing the strength to continue their moves to the upside or is there going to be any more upside behavior by the altcoins considering what is happening with Bitcoin right now? It seems to be that there is a bit of a transition. Majority of the altcoins right now have, of course, made their gains from last week, but some of them now are starting to pull back. In front of you right now, you can see Crypto Bubbles. Crypto Bubbles was a tool that was shared to me by one of the gang in the Pattern Watchers family, and it just gives you a snapshot of where and what altcoins are showing strength in today's environment. So we've got the day view right here and we can see that these are the altcoins that are showing the gains. I am not seeing many pumps by the altcoins themselves, okay? The only ones that are coming to my attention, of course, that are visible in front of me right now, okay? Are Crow, OKB, Loop Ring, and Kadena. Kadena? Kadena? Always get it wrong, okay? And Qcoin. Helium has taken a bit of a hit, okay? But... Across the board, you can see that this is where the activity is happening. Some of the big winners that we have seen from last week are starting to break down. Solana, breaking down. BNB, breaking down. Okay? Elrond is starting to break down. So what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to fly over to the chart and we are going to have a look at these altcoins just so that we can understand exactly what we can expect next. Now, listen, if you are new to the channel itself, ladies and gentlemen, be sure to like and subscribe and you will receive these daily updates every single day. And I also stream twice a day from Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. OK, so let's roll with it just to put things into perspective. Bitcoin. It's very interesting what we're seeing by Bitcoin right now, considering that this move to the upside is somewhat suspicious. I don't trust it, okay? And I've put my two cents on this. I don't trust the idea that Bitcoin right now has made this big move to the upside, okay? And it doesn't look like it wants to stop. However, we know something about the market makers. When they are preparing price like this, when we see big vector candles to the upside, we know that they are setting price up for some shorts. But the question is, what point will they come back to this point in the chart? Okay. Now, you've got to remember Bitcoin has been consolidating in this range. Okay. There has been a lot of accumulation by the market makers in this range. So you need to be mindful of that. OK, the 62 zone right here seems to be a very important part in the chart. Why? Because that is where you're seeing most of the aggressive behavior by the market makers. It's not to the upside, it's to the downside. So that would make you believe that they are preparing price, preparing their longs, okay, so that they can get them filled at the lowest possible point to induce traders to step in on the basis that the breakouts, which will happen from this point here and this point here, is going to induce traders to commit their money. Well, the market maker seems to have done that. As you can see, they've moved price all the way out of the zone. So now there are a lot of retail traders that are sitting in profitable positions in Bitcoin. Problem is with the retail trader is he doesn't pay himself. So the next thing that we need to expect is when is the market maker looking to break down price? Because that's what we're waiting for. Why? Because price has deviated away from the 50 EMA. All right. Yes, we are approaching new all time highs near enough with Bitcoin. But are they just getting people committed at the belief that an all time high is going to be made by Bitcoin? And are they going to try and get retail traders committed in this zone so that they can trap the liquidity because they know that the retail trader puts his liquidation points in this range right here? OK, now looking across the board on the altcoin bosses, you can see we're not seeing many double digit figures. We've only got Crow right here. That seems to be doing pretty well. Wait for that. There you go. But the problem is we're starting to see some other patterns developing. All right. I'm not liking the idea that, that we are seeing this starting to appear on the bit on the coins that are actively showing the bigger gains. OK, just be mindful across the board, guys. We are going to start seeing a shift in sentiment. All right. And that's all because of what's going on with Bitcoin. Ethereum, on the other hand itself, ladies and gentlemen, Ethereum has made some very interesting gains. OK, but she's also following the same behavior as Bitcoin. This is what I don't like about it. When Ethereum and the alts have been moving to the upside, Bitcoin was consolidating. OK, but what's important now is Ethereum has done exactly the same move as Bitcoin. XRP has done exactly the same move as Bitcoin. And all three of the major coins themselves seem like they are getting set up. 
I don't trust it in my opinion. Now, remember, I'm a short-term day trader. My goal is to try and exploit certain moves that happen from the start of the market to the close of the market. And I know that the markets are open 24-7. But when I say open of the market and close of the market, I'm talking about when banks open in all parts of the world where institutional traders come to their desks and they start putting their orders because remember institutional retail traders sorry institutional traders are retail traders whales they are retail traders why because they do not move markets they contribute a lot of liquidity to the market but you need to remember that in order to buy someone has to be on the other uh, other side to sell they are not liquidity providers they do not operate the market they are contributors to the marketplace no different to the likes of you and me okay so with this being said ladies and gentlemen the fact that ethereum has made the move to the upside i'm i naturally will try and look for coins themselves that are showing the strength okay because let's make the assumption hypothetically if everything starts to pull back across the board which coins would i be paying attention to that are trying to hold their gains look at vchain okay VeChain itself has made one, two, three hits to the high. Now it's pulling away from that zone. Is VeChain giving us the signal that they could be building what we understand to be an M formation and getting ready to break down? Now, the criteria of an M formation itself, ladies and gentlemen, is the first leg cannot over be overseen. Sorry, the second leg cannot oversee the first leg. OK, but the fact is price has come straight back down into the actual part of the chart that we are waiting for them to break down from, as you can see right here. OK. It's actually come straight back in compared to the previous high right there. That right there is a cause for concern. All right. I'm I'm so cautious today. Today is Monday. We do anticipate a false move. This may be the false move, ladies and gentlemen. And then by New York, we might see some interesting behavior. They may even roll out more fake moves to the upside, get Bitcoin to hit an all-time high, because there are people that are actively thinking that Bitcoin may be pulling back from this point, but the market maker will try his best to induce traders to believe that it's not the case and that we're going to go for another all-time high. And that is the perfect time for them to trap the traders, committing traders to commit their monies at the highest possible point or at the lowest possible point and the market maker will then change sentiment he will shift it out of the zone because he operates at the most climatic point in the chart that's what needs to be considered okay loop ring looking at loop ring you can see it's made the move to the upside but it does look like we are forming an interesting pattern OK, are we going to see price breaking down across the board? Are the alts going to hold their gains to the upside whilst they're trying to look like they're showing signs to move back down again? Or are we just waiting for Bitcoin to just make a false move and then it's going to drop everything back down and everything across the board is going to drop? Because I don't like the idea of Bitcoin rising, Ethereum rising and XRP rising. OK, the altcoins ain't rising so much. I'm trying to establish the disparity between this relationship in price. So it's just one of those weird days today, guys. OK, because we have seen Bitcoin holding and the altcoins have been moving up and Ethereum has been moving up. OK, we can make the clear distinction that there is a disparity there. But all of a sudden, all three of the coins have moved to the upside. Bitcoin, XRP and Ethereum. The altcoins aren't really showing much of a gain. So we just need to be mindful and keep an eye out on Bitcoin and the alts in the sense that are they getting ready to hold the alts so that bitcoin can make a move to the upside and whilst it's making its move to the upside the altcoins by principle would likely to come back down or are they trying to hold the zones and just let bitcoin do what it needs to do so that when they do move bitcoin back down again the altcoins can continue where they left off okay cadena cadena i can't even say it whatever it is Again, we've seen a retrace. It's pulled all the way back down. It's tapped this pool of liquidity. It's now pulled back up. Again, I'm not liking it. Why? Because we are seeing patterns starting to develop. Okay? Are we going to see a sharp pullback by the alts across the board? This is what I'm trying to establish. Link. Okay? Again, you can see bright as day. They've come to the high. They haven't taken it out completely, but it does look like they are preparing to drop price. All right. If we do see further upside potential, if you do decide to exploit it, make sure you pay yourself, ladies and gentlemen, because there's no point in coming to the game just to test if you can make a profit and not realize it. OK, XLM. 
coming up slowly following pretty much xrp's movement we do have these previous pools of liquidity that they could come back up to now when you see this sort of behavior by xlm and then we actually roll over to xrp itself let me have a look at xrp for a split second just to help you understand what i'm talking about here we go look you can see xrp now looks like it wants to start pulling back looking across the board bitcoin it's holding its its zone man something fishy is happening across the board guys don't like it bnb is a fine example look at that bnb nice move to the upside is pulling it straight back down to testing the 50 ema you're waiting to see if bitcoin's move is going to continue higher which is going to determine if the altcoins are either going to hold their gains or they're actually going to break down and come back to those previous points that they moved from solana is a fine example ladies and gentlemen solana just didn't stop moving to the upside and we saw that success of that 260 dollars no 259 dollars and now they've pulled it all the way back down again what we need to be aware of is the coins that have been making the bigger moves to the upside keep an eye out on them pay attention to them because whilst they are holding whilst bitcoin is rising if they are managing to hold their gains especially in zones like this where you can see the previous accumulation zone right there and now we're seeing the same accumulation zone right here we need to be mindful of the idea that if bitcoin does start to pull back then these coins will continue where they left off okay bnb solana altcoins they are at their highs okay or well, all-time highs as such and we just need to be mindful maybe not so much bnb is bnb an all-time high yet i of course it is must be no bnb not yet at its all-time high but somewhat close towards it okay so bnb has every reason to try and make an all-time high however it, this move is so extended look at the extension of this move look at the extension of this move sharp retrace back down ladies and gentlemen just be careful across the board i don't want you guys getting caught out in the wrong direction without fully understanding that there is a retrace that is pending and bitcoin's move to the upside could be the clue to the altcoins pulling back okay other than that ladies and gentlemen looking at more across the altcoin bosses playlist or playlist watch list itself i'm not seeing much activity if we look at the coins that have taken the biggest hit okay that's going to give us a clue as to what could be happening later on today you can see that nkn nikin whatever it is has pulled back to the 50 ema all right now if this move by nikin itself is a continuation to the upside all right we need to wait and see if they're going to hold the gains at the 50 ema Looking at Super itself, you can see it's doing exactly the same thing. Red Vector Candle, are they preparing to go back up later on? All right. Sand itself has seen some great success, but now it's pulling straight back. Problem with Sand is this. The accumulation, we said it in the stream a couple of days ago, guys. Sand's move to the upside looks like they're getting ready to just regulate price and bring the 200 EMA and the 50 EMA close together. That is a classic example of them trying to contain the gains for any coin. All right. They're doing the same thing with sand right now, trying to regulate price. Now, the problem that we're going to see is this. If you actually look at sand, you'll see in a few in, in well, in the next few hours or so is they could do this. The fact that we've got this vector candle right here tells us. OK, let me just mark it off right there for you. It tells us something. It tells us that if the moving averages are coming together, we may see a stop hunt appearing in this zone two things could happen we're either going to see price spike up to the upside they're going to drop down or we're going to see price spike to the downside and then they're going to come back up why because there are two pools of liquidity in the chart that they can come and attack the retail trader that hasn't paid himself with the price movement to the upside he's got liquidation points sat active right here market maker is likely to hit those zones because he can then get them committed to step back in again because he would have hit their point in the chart and they will feel like they're missing out on another big move to the upside as a, uh, that could be happening right here so he's going to lure them into actually getting committed again into the chart at the same token if he does decide to move price higher he's going to solidify the retail traders who initially held it from this point here he's going to get them to commit their funds they're going to stay open and if anything they're going to add more positions and they're going to get those positions realized at this point which is what the market maker is going to send price back up to so that he can prepare his shorts at the highest possible point based on the liquidity of the market of the retail trader coming straight in and going long and then he's going to reverse price back down and crush the retail trader okay 
We've had one, two, three hits to the high on sand, and they have been higher each time. They aren't finished with sand just yet. I'm waiting for another spike to the upside. Maybe when Bitcoin pulls back, the alts make another move to the upside. And then when they do make that move to the upside, Bitcoin may continue its move back up again if its move to the upside right now is valid. But I'm expecting a retrace back down. So what I'm trying to say to you is this, guys. From a move to the upside, they're going to bring price back down okay, on the alts right now, based on Bitcoin's behavior. Bitcoin's behavior is showing that he's moving to the upside. If it's a fake move, they will bring price back down. And then all the coins that have been accumulating like sand right here are going to move back up to previous zones that they have just come from. Okay. So it's, it's really, it's a fishy zone today, guys. It's one of those funny zones, and especially that it's a Monday as well. It's a false move week beginning. That's usually what happens in Forex. They initiate the false move. An example of a false move in Forex would be like so. Okay, look at dollar yen. As you can see right here, they started off the session in Asia. They moved price higher. And now they've snapped it all the way back down again. So you just got to be mindful. It's a false move today. So we may see some interesting moves happening across the board. Guys, listen, mad love and respect. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I'm sorry I've been rambling on a bit, but just be mindful. Today seems like it's going to be a bit of a tricky day. I won't be going live because I have my daughter with me. I won't be going live today, but I'll be going live as of 2 p.m. tomorrow. So mad love and respect to all of you. And I will catch up with you guys in the stream. Stay safe, guys. Peace.